Mexico Magazine is published monthly and features topics from around the land of enchantment. Including our multicultural heritage, arts, climate, environment, and diverse people. And joining us now is Dave Herndon, the editor-in-chief of New Mexico Magazine. Thanks Dave, for joining us. Dave, good to see you. Great to be here. Lots of stuff going on in southern New Mexico. That's our right. cover story. Is that right? Right. Well, we, you know, um, we're putting the spotlight on southern New Mexico. Um, it's a great time of year to take a road trip. And, um, you know, I'm always blown away when I drive down south about how uh, the the driving itself is mm -hmm. such a pleasure. Yeah. I mean, the scenery is fantastic. Mm -hmm. You don't have traffic. You don't have tolls. You don't have bridges. Right. All the stuff I'm used to from back east. Yeah, right. You know, yeah. it just keeps getting better and better the more you drive. And it, uh, yeah, yeah, and the dest and the destinations are you know well worth the trip. Yeah. Well, speaking right. of destinations, one in particular that caught me, and I was the same way with T or C, is Silver City. Yeah. It really is kind of a, a gem in the middle of, of right. the desert. Right. Uh, we have a, uh, our a story called Twenty Five Reasons to Love Silver City. <laughs> okay. There are a lot more reasons to love Silver City <laughs> than that, but it's a good start. And, uh, you know, it's a fascinating town. I mean, it is a commitment to go down there. It's four or five hours, right. you know, wherever you go starting from. But right. uh, uh, well worth it. And, you know, it's, it's kind of got the aspects of an old West mining town, mm -hmm. a college town, an art town. It's, you know, it's got its own identity that's partly a function of being a little bit remote. Mm -hmm. It's the gateway to the Gila. The City of Rocks is near there. Uh -huh. uh, there's a great place the Buckhorn Saloon and Opera House which is a great steakhouse and they have an like an old you know 18 and uh, 80s mining era um, they call it an opera house but you know great venue if you could I'm dying to see a concert there but uh, wow. fascinating town lots of great cultural events down there um, they have their 20th uh, blues festival coming up in May Taj Mahal is going to play for free uh, wow. you know it's a three-day deal and, and lots of other related events they have a clay festival in the in the July that's a uh, you know, so it, just it, throughout the months, every, new every, every they month. They have a great calendar of cultural events. I mean, uh, their arts council won the the governor's award for excellence in the arts last year. No They're kidding. doing. They really need, lots. They of got it going on down there. That's wow. great. Okay, now there's a feature piece on the Bataan Memorial Death March. Right. right? Tell us a little bit about that. Okay, so when the um, Bataan uh, when this World War II when the Bataan Peninsula was surrendered, eighty thousand soldiers were, t you know, tortured yeah. on this death march. And um, 1,800 of them were from New Mexico. Mm -hmm. So annually, uh, there is a 26.2 mile march uh, through the desert down by White Sands to memorialize that. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a very popular event. Last year, 6,000 wow. people participated yeah. in it to uh, pay tribute. Yeah. And two of them were, uh, one of them was a writer from New on assignment from New Mexico Magazine, mm -hmm. whose brother is an Army vet. Uh, uh, stationed in El Paso. He's mm -hmm. a veteran of the Middle uh, East Wars. Mm -hmm. oh. And uh, they did the march together as sort of an act of reconciliation. Yeah. She's trying to, you know, you know, have more empathy for what he's been yeah. through yeah. And, and just a very moving that's, story. Yeah, good way to do yeah. It and that's what's yeah. really interesting is that, that when you read the article, you, you hear about our servicemen and women that do it and they do it in their full gear and then right. they're, they're trekking along for 26 miles. It's really great. Uh, lots of stuff in this issue. And, you know, unfortunately, we don't have time to go over it because it's a great issue. Homemade recipes, things that you do at home. Of course, we also talk about the artist David Bradley, which we will be covering in the coming weeks as part of our Culture Pass Challenge and his show at the Museum of Indian Arts and Culture. Anyway, guys, for more information, head over to casa.com for New Mexico Magazine. Dave, always a pleasure. Yeah.